Okay, so this bottle is symbolic. This bottle, I think, may represent something that may be going on in your life, something that may be dark or cloudy or difficult. You know, in the life of a believer, we all go through our peaks when things are good. And life is good for the most part for believers. But sometimes as a believer, we go through our valleys when we face darkness in difficult situations and, and things become murky and cloudy. And, and, you know, and we don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. So when we go through these times, and some of you right now may be going through this, the main thing is, is to realize that you cannot give up on God. you got to continue to walk with God. Although Satan is going to tell you, you know, why, why even bother? You know, look, you're trying to serve God, and look at this horrible, dark situation in your life. So why even bother trying to serve God? That's what Satan's going to do. He's going to lie to you to try to get you discouraged. But the thing is, as a believer, we need to remain focused on God and continue to serve Him uh, and continue to believe in His wonderful promises. So, what are you doing? Have a situation when things are really dark and gloomy and doesn't seem like there's light at the end of the tunnel? Well, for a believer, let's bring this over here. We got to turn to prayer. And sometimes, you know, you don't realize how powerful prayer is. And so, I'm going to unleash the power of prayer by me removing this cap, symbolic of the fact we're going to turn to God and we're going to turn to prayer. And so when we begin to pray, what happens? When we begin to pray, God then begins to shower His graces and His blessings upon us. And the thing is that we've got to continue to pray. Notice there, the situation is not yet clear. It hasn't been resolved. And sometimes we get tempted to Stop praying, because we think, you know what, it's not making any difference at all. So why even bother? But, it's not in situations like this, we got to continue to pray, so we can continue to receive God's blessings. And when we do pray, we receive His blessings. Heaven showers His graces and His love and His peace in our lives to, to bring clarity to the situation, determination and endurance and, and, and faith in all these situations. So again, we got to continue to pray. We cannot give up, even when things don't appear to be getting any better. And sometimes, you know what, sometimes things may even get worse. Uh, and we say, you know what, why even bother praying when, when the situation is not getting any better? It just seems to be getting worse. But even then, we got to continue to pray. Maybe even double our efforts, you know, increase our prayers, you know, instead of decreasing it. Because again, sooner or later, the situation uh, will get better. Sooner or later, the situation will become clear. Sooner or later, the situation uh, will become resolved. So again, even in the midst of our trials and tribulations, even in the midst of our darkness, even in the midst of our family, or even uh, Satan telling us, you know what, don't even bother, don't even pray, or, or give up, or, or move forward, and don't even bother, and we got to continue to believe, we got to continue to serve and trust that, that God's promises will come, that God's promises will become a reality uh, in our lives. And so we continue to pray. Uh, you can see there that as uh, we continue to pray, that the bottle is not as dark as it was before. You know, it's time to become a little bit brighter. It's time to become a little bit better. Uh, and so we got to double our efforts and double our efforts and prayers uh, to continue to see that eventually God is going to provide solutions. Sometimes, you know, it may take weeks. And sometimes it may even take months. And sometimes it even takes years, you know. And people from the Bible, uh, are people who have experienced uh, great victory in life, many times they experience victory in life years after years and years of praying about a particular problem, about a difficult situation in life. Uh, but they continue to believe in God and they continue to hope that against all the odds that things eventually were going to get better in their lives. So they continue to believe and continue to trust God and continue to serve God. Uh, and in the end, uh, from the Bible story we read in, in the Old and New Testament, God answered their prayers and, and, and they were able to obtain victory uh, in their lives. Uh, but they obtained that victory because they chose not to give up on God, but because they chose to continue to serve Him, continue to believe, uh, and continue to pray. So again, as we see here, the situation uh, is getting better uh, and better. So again, if you have to, you know, double up. Double up on your prayers. Ask other people to pray for you so you can continue to receive uh, God's promises uh, and God's blessings. Uh, and if you do that again, the situation, the situation uh, will get better. So again, whatever you're going through right now in life, uh, turn it over to God. Continue to believe. Continue to trust. Uh, if you have to even turn to the Bible for 
inspiration and for direction and for hope. Uh, again, we have so many examples uh, from the Bible where uh, people found victory after a few years and years of praying. But in the end, uh, they found victory. And if you continue to believe in God, continue to pray, you too will find victory. You too will find success. You too will find clarity uh, to the situation if you continue to believe, if you continue to trust. As you can see here from my example, uh, that situation is now clear. It's been resolved. It took a while, it took quite a bit of a while, but in the end, it became clear. So again, make sure you don't give up. Make sure you continue to trust God. And above all, make sure you continue to pray and serve Him. God bless you. Amen.